Good evening, Our Lady of Lords School families and students. Tonight is the 2020 annual OLOL Awards Assembly. We're doing it a little different this year than we have in the past, so I'm thankful that you all have joined us. The best way to get the most out of your school experience is to get involved in everything that the school has to offer. There is an old adage that you get out of something exactly what you put into it. I know this to be true. The most successful students that I have seen over my 15 years in education are the ones that make a total commitment to their school and their studies. Our Lady of Lords offers so many opportunities for our students to shine. Tonight, we honor those students that got involved in their school and committed themselves to their studies and Our Lady of Lords School. I would like to thank all of these students for sharing their God-given gifts with their classmates, their teachers, and their school. So let's start our evening off. Hello. The Citizenship Award goes to all of our eighth graders who raise and lower the flag every day. So thank you, Billy, Emma, Duke, Pablo, Giacomo, Sydney, Jack, Hannah, Chase, Raylan, Aaron, and Zeb for taking on that responsibility each day. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Enright and I are here to give recognition to everyone that participated in the talent show. It takes a lot of courage to perform in front of others and you did a great job. Thank you. In first grade, we had Owen and Sophia. Second grade, we had Amber, Madison, Allison, Emmett and Mays, Sutton, Ava and Matthew. In third grade, we had Abby, Carly and Lily. Fourth grade, we had David, Bezzarel, Jalen, and Brady. Great job. The talent show also had some great participants from middle school this year. Haley, Alex, Noah, Adriana, and Daniel from fifth grade all showed us their talents. In sixth grade, Julia and Cooper showed their talents. And in eighth grade, Pablo showed how he could play the piano. We also had some great eighth grade leaders this year. Thank you very much to Sydney, Aaron, and Pablo for being the MCs. Hello everyone, Senora Eger here. Um, today I will be giving out the Spanish award to a student who has obtained an A all three years of middle school, who has showed enthusiasm towards the language and developed great oral skills. I am very proud to present this Spanish award to Hannah, congratulations. I am Ms. Han, teaching Mandarin. The excellence in Mandarin Learning Award goes to Abby, Kindergarten, Madeline, First Grade, Grace, Second Grade, Lily, Third Grade, Maxwell, Fourth Grade, Balladina, fifth grade, Andrew, sixth grade, Elizabeth, seventh grade. Also today, I will give out the award to Amber. She wins the first place in the speech content 2020. Congratulations, all the students. Good job.
Hi, I'm Mrs. Wagnitz, and it's my privilege to start off announcing the awards for our forensics team this year. Uh, forensics 2020 was, is our 11th year of competing in GRACE Forensics. Uh, forensics is an activity where students can learn how to express themselves well. It is a speaking competition. Most of the pieces are creative uh, speaking pieces. The kids learn how to bring something alive using just their voices or very simple movements. And uh, hopefully they become comfortable with speaking in front of people, which is certainly part of just about everyone's job today. We want to be able to express ourselves well and have confidence in doing that. I coach the forensics team along with Mrs. Sharon Johnson, and she will have the second part of the awards. As I said before, this is our 11th year of running competitions, and this year we had two forensics meets. When students go to a forensics meet, they perform their piece three times in front of three different judges. So they get three, they get feedback from three different judges telling them what they did well, and what they can improve on. Our first meet was at St. John the Baptist. Um, our second meet, we tried something new this year. We ran a competitive meet. Um, that meet was hosted at our school, Our Lady of Lords. Uh, I think we had nine different schools from all over the Grace, all over the Green Bay Diocese coming and joining the Grace schools. Um, students were awarded point values and so not only did we have an overall school that won the meet, but we also had winners in individual categories. So that brought kind of a fun new edge for the kids. Um, our eighth grade parents stepped up and posted our uh, food available for the kids. And so we appreciate that, that they ran the concessions for us as well. I will start with our eighth graders. Um, most of our eighth grade girls competed all three years, and so I'm very proud of them. They provide great leadership for our forensics team. Um, eighth grade did a reader's theater piece where they are reading off a script, and I was very happy also is when Billy came at Christmas time, they quickly found a part for her and included her as well. So our eighth grade girls are Billy, Emma, Sydney, Hannah F., Raylin, and Erin, and they received first place awards. So thank you very much, girls, for a job well done. The next team uh, that I coached was a seventh grader, um, Diego, and he took a sixth grader, Cooper, under his wing, and they also did a great job with a reader's theater piece that they had found online and adapted into uh, the piece that they use for competition, and they also received a first place. So good job, guys, and we look forward to your leadership next year. Forensics is a middle school event, so this year for sixth graders, this would be their first time that they were able to compete. And so I had I had the privilege of coaching a group of four sixth graders, and they did an awesome job. They actually won the second place in the Reader's Theater competition at the Our Lady of Lords meet. So great job, guys. And again, you're going to provide such great leadership for our forensics team going forward. So those sixth graders were Isabel F., Kaylee, Bennett, and Lauren. So good job, guys, and can't wait for next year's forensics season. I would like to recognize our other forensics groups this year. We had seventh grader Cooper and Mame, joined by sixth grader Tina Marie doing Reader's Theater. Another sixth grade group doing Reader's Theater was Isabel D and Julia. And for the first time this year, we were also able to include fifth grade in our forensics team. And we had two groups of fifth graders. Uh, one group doing Reader's Theater included Haley, Raphael, Daniel, Brennan and Noah. And our other fifth grade student, Maddie, did poetry this year. A nice job done by everyone. Hope to see you back next year.
Mrs. Fink and I would like to thank the students who worked with us to put the yearbook together. Thankfully, we were just about done before our continuously, continuous learning started this year. So I would like to recognize eighth graders, Sydney, Aaron, Giacomo, and Jack, seventh grader, Mame, and sixth graders, Vanessa, Lauren, and Tina Marie. Thank you for all of your hard work, and we hope you all enjoy it when you get your yearbooks next week. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Johnson and I are very thankful to all of our wonderful class participants in student council. Unfortunately, this year we had to cut student council short and weren't able to do everything we wanted to. We did, however, get a chance to have another Red Ribbon Week rally, and the students did a great job with that, and we had another successful candy cane sale at Christmas. So thank you very much to all of our middle school leaders who took charge of those activities. In eighth grade, we have Pablo, Raylan, and Aaron. In seventh grade, Peyton, Cooper, Diego, and Mame all were very helpful this year. Thank you very much for all that you did. Okay, we would also like to, to recognize the fifth and sixth graders who joined student council this year. In sixth grade, Julia, Isabel D, and Micah. In fifth grade, we would like to say thank you to Haley, Daniel, Maddie, and Raphael. Thank you for all your great work you did this year. Of course, one group that I am particularly proud of is our church choir. I am so proud of all of you who come and join us and sing with us every Wednesday. As a matter of fact, this year's church choir was so large, we had to split third grade and have some participate before January and some participate after. Um, it just, it was almost unmanageable. It was so large. There's only 40 chairs over there and we were spilling over on all sides. We had a great middle school leadership in the church choir as well this year. Of course, with a list this large, I would have double and triple checked by attendance at church choir uh, for the last couple of weeks before putting this list out. So please uh, let me know if I miss a name somehow, um, but hopefully I've got everybody in here. So starting in the eighth grade in church choir, we had Billy, Pablo, Hannah, Emma, Jack, Duke, Giacomo, Chase, Ray Lynn, Aaron M, and Sydney. In the seventh grade, we had Peyton and Mame Chema and Cooper. In sixth grade, we had Lauren, Tina Marie, Cooper, Ella, Kaylee, Tim, Jacob, Micah, Addison, Bennett, and Julia N. In fifth grade, we had Nathan, Brennan, Adriana, and Maddie. In fourth grade, we had Ryan M, Tristan, Ryan C, Dominic, Yesterday, Julia, Miranda, Lola, Jalen, Bezarel, and David. And in third grade, we had Lauren, Charlie, JP, Carly, Layla, Bria, Vincent, Michael, Abby, Anthony, Aubrey, Lily, and Madeline. Thank you all so much for singing with us. At Our Lady of Lourdes, the jazz band is made up of students in grades five through eight who have been playing their band instrument for more than a year. Um, we get together to learn all sorts of fun, uh, different styles of music, everything from traditional jazz and swing um, to blues to even some rock themes. Um, so this year's the 2019-2020 the jazz band had uh, one clarinet, Peyton, one alto saxophone, Isabel D, one tenor saxophone, Bennett S, two percussionists, Diego B and Cooper N, and, pian and one piano player, Raphael Z. Thank you so much for joining us, guys.
Christmas Band at Our Lady of Lourdes is a service-based organization. Uh, we spend the first half of the year almost getting together every Wednesday after school, practicing Christmas music and just trying to load our repertoire with as many pieces of Christmas music as we can. Then uh, just before Christmas, we head to the mall or other areas in the city um, and play not only to bring Christmas joy to the public, but also when we had, at least when we go to the mall, we're also ringing bells for the Salvation Army. This year's Christmas band had one trumpet player, Raylin M, one alto saxophone player, Raphael Z, one tenor saxophone player, Bennett S, and two percussionists, Diego B and Cooper N. Thank you all so much for joining us. This year, Our Lady of Lourdes got to host solo and ensemble for the first time in at least 15 years. Uh, it was fun to have it on, on site um, and, and fun for our students to get to be at our own school for solo and ensemble this year. We had a few students participate. And uh, when you go to solo and ensemble, you are competing not against other students, but against yourself and how the judge thinks it should be performed, thinks that particular piece of music should be performed. None of the solo and ensemble music is easy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and none of the scores are bad. Uh, one means excellent, two means very good, three means fair or average. Um, none of them mean poor. They assume that everyone attending solo and ensemble has been working hard at their solos and um, and won't have a poor day. Okay, um, so the solo and ensemble medals that are going out today are going to Cooper N is receiving a one for his snare drum solo. Diego B is receiving a two for his multiple percussion solo. Hannah F is receiving a two for her flute solo one for a piano duet, and one for a sol uh, piano solo. Isabel F. is receiving a one for her clarinet solo, a one for a piano duet, and one for piano solo. Congratulations. I'm really proud of how you all did at Solon Ensemble, even though it seems like a really long time ago. Great work. Thanks. As students enter their fourth grade year, they are given the opportunity to learn all about Wisconsin, from its very beginnings in the Ice Age to the current day government. This year, I'm so excited to award the fourth grade class the awesome Wisconsinite Award. This award goes to Lola Beyer, Baldinia Chi, Bezzarel Chi, Ryan Cleven, Jalen Conrad, Julia Day, Max Sterwin, Dominic DeSmith, Miranda Jakes, Caroline Johnson, Ryan McNerney, Yesterday Amatoso, Sage Rhodes, Tristan Rosick, Michaela Schoenard, David Seidel, Giovanni Zifferblatt, and Brady Zyke. Congratulations. Okay, I would like to recognize our spelling bee participants this year. Each year we do the spelling bee and we start off with classroom rounds. So first I would like to announce the classroom winners from grades three through eight. In grade three, Charlie and Michael. In grade four, Yesede and Julia D. In fifth grade, Daniel and Nana. In sixth grade, Royce and Ella. Seventh grade, Peyton and Mame. And in eighth grade, Aaron M and Hannah. Hannah Fergus was our school winner this year. Aaron, Aaron M was our school runner up. Hannah went on to compete at Edison Middle School for the district level, and she did a great job with coming in third place. Congratulations to all of our Spelling Bee participants. I would like to present the fourth grade Spelling Bee Award to Yesterday Omatoso and Julia Day for winning our Classroom Spelling Bee. Congratulations on your achievement. Good evening. Third grade is the first year that 
the kids can participate in the school spelling bee. This year, Bria Berry and JP Verbort represented us and they did a great job. Thank you. Many of our students shared their gifts of sports with their school, their teammates, and their competitors. So right now we want to honor those students who uh, took the risk and played in our sports here at Our Lady of Lords School. Bria Berry played basketball. Dorothy Bassendale played flag football. Layla Beyer played basketball. Lola Beyer played basketball. Austin Boris played flag football. Caden Boris played flag football. Abby Cleven played flag football and basketball. Ryan Cleven played flag football and basketball. Pablo Keen played soccer. Giacomo D'Alessandro played soccer. Julia Day played basketball. Sydney DeJardin played soccer. Isabel Derwin played volleyball. Max Derwin played flag football and basketball. Isabel Dreska played flag football. Ethan Dichait played soccer. Mason Dreska played flag football. Jack Eastman played soccer. Elizabeth Schunard played volleyball. Emma Calloway played volleyball. Hannah Fergus played volleyball. Isabel Fergus played volleyball. Kaylee Fink played volleyball. Miles Hobbins played flag football. Noah Hawk played soccer. Haley Huth played volleyball and basketball. Micah Jakes played basketball. Miranda Jakes played volleyball and basketball. Brennan Johnson played flag football. Brennan Johnson played basketball. Caroline Johnson played volleyball, flag football, and basketball. Vincent Knuth played basketball. Royce Lynn played soccer. Sullivan Loken played flag football. Ethan Matelitsky played flag football. Aaron McNerney played soccer and basketball. Ryan McNerney played soccer, flag football, and basketball. Andrew Nelson played basketball. Cooper Nimmer played basketball. Anthony Knoll played flag football and basketball. Julia Knoll played soccer. Lily O'Connor played basketball. Daniel Rodriguez played soccer. Sophia Rodriguez played flag football. Alex Schmeiser played soccer and basketball. Michaela, Michaela Schunard played volleyball and basketball. Maya Chefshek played basketball. Bennett Steyer played soccer and basketball. Mays Thill played flag football. Madeline Turriff played basketball. Lauren Verbort played volleyball. Charlie Ward played flag football. Andrew Willems played flag football. Michael Willems played flag football and basketball. Gio Zifferblatt played bas basketball and flag football. Raphael Zifferblatt played basketball. Aubrey Zewelhofer played basketball. And Brady Zeke played flag football and basketball. So our student athletes, thank you for sharing your gifts. And I'd like to thank the coaches who helped guide our students in their sports. So congratulations to our Our Lady of Lords student athletes. It takes a hard, lot of hard work and dedication for our middle school students to be on the honor roll. Our Lady of Lords has three honor rolls. We have high honors, which students have a grade point of 4.0. That's the gold honor roll. We have the silver honor roll, which are students that have a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.9. And then we have the bronze honor roll. And that is for students whose grade point average is 3.0 to 3.49. 
The high honors honor roll has three students. They did a tremendous job of keeping up with their studies and dedicating themselves to that hard work. Those students are Hannah Fergus, Isabel Fergus, and Lauren Verbort. So congratulations, ladies, great job. The silver honor roll, which are students with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.9, are Sydney DeJardin, Raylan Motter, Billy Boone, Chase Holowinski, Aaron McNerney, Diego Beals, Peyton Chefshek, Isabel Derwin, Kaylee Fink, Ella Bay, Andrew Nelson, and Raphael Zifferblad. So congratulations to the students on the Silver Honor Roll. Great job with the dedication to your studies. Greetings, Our Lady of Lords, families and students. Here is a list of the bronze students who have a grade point average of 3.0 to 3.49 for the 2019-2020 school year. Giacomo D'Alessandro, Jack Eastman, Emma Calloway, Mami Ashiyama, Elizabeth Schunard, Royce Lynn, Cooper Nimmer, Julia Knoll, Addison Spencer, Nana Ashiyama, Brennan Johnson, Maya Shefchek, Ethan Ditscheit, Daniel Rodriguez, Haley Huth, and Adriana Ruder. Congratulations and thank you for all your hard work. Greetings, OLOL families and students. Our Lady of Lords Catholic School recognizes students that make marked improvement during the school year, and this is captured in the second trimester academic honor roll also known as AIR, which is an improved GPA from the previous trimester. Here is a list of students who made this unique honor roll. In grade eight, Emma Calloway, Giacomo D'Alessandro, Sydney DeJardin, Jack Eastman, Raylan Motter, Aaron McNerney. In grade seven, Aaron Harrell, Elizabeth Schunard, in grade six, Ella Bay, Jacob Cleveland, Julia Knoll. In grade five, Maddie D. Smith, Ethan Ditchite, and Noah Hawk. Congratulations on your achievement. Each year, Notre Dame Academy proudly presents the Rotier Family Scholarship to an incoming freshman from Our Lady of Lords School. This year, our recipient is Aaron McNerney. Congratulations, Aaron. Tonight, we honor some of our eighth grade students for their hard work on their studies during their entire middle school career. Each year, the President of the United States awards two certificates the first certificate is a gold certificate, and these students have earned a grade point average of 3.5 over their entire middle school career and scored 85% or above on the math and reading map scores. So we have three middle school students that met that criteria this year, and they are Hannah Fergus, Chase Holowinski, and Aaron McNerney. So congratulations to Hannah, Chase, and Aaron. Great job. The president also awards a silver award, and these students maintained a grade point average of 3.5 or higher for their entire middle school career. And those two students are Sydney DeJardin and Raylan Motter. So congratulations to Sydney and Raylan. Great job, eighth graders. You are shining examples of what a Our Lady of Lords graduate should be. Keep up the great work in high school. Well, that concludes our evening at the awards assembly. I'd like to thank all of the OLOL students and families that joined us tonight for the awards assembly. Thank you to all the students whose names were called tonight. I would like to pass along two thoughts that I have in, regard, in regards to tonight's evening that are centered on my own personal philosophies and our principles of Our Lady of Lords School. First, we are all created in God's image, and He has given us these special gifts. 
One of the important aspects of receiving a gift is that you are to use it and to share it with others. We are commanded to do that. These students tonight understand that we are one learning community and we are here to share our gifts with our classmates, our school, our teachers, and our parents. Secondly, the biggest failure some people have is the failure to not try something. Trying something and finding out you are not good at it is not a failure. It is a learning experience that you can apply later on in your life. The true failure is not trying to begin with. I hope that all of our students come back next year ready to learn all kinds of new things and different experiences. The more you are involved and committed to Our Lady of Lords, the more you will, you will accomplish and the better school experience awaits you. So again, thank you for attending tonight's awards assembly and have a great evening and God bless.